Hello everyone, it is me, the artist, and today we will be working on the Avatar DVD case makeover. As you can see, we have worked on the parameter of the colored shapes. I worked on the green and the orange and found the perfect shades. It took a while to figure that part out, but I have done it. And we will start by working on the water nation and here we go okay so the first thing we are going to do is get a toothpick perfect we will be using the toothpick to work on the little lines here to dab some paint but until then we'll be going through some things and i will be deciding which paint color will be the best and as you can see we have many paints to choose from from the oh my gosh that is very light I will throw that away. okay so uh we have this for the perimeter so i'll leave that in there that is for the red so I'll be putting that away. That is for the animation. And that is for the earth. But these are for the water. I will try to do my best to do the inner parts first, then the outer parts. So I believe I will be doing the inner with a mixture of the glitter and uh, this paint. Here we go. Okay, so we will be using this to mix the colors. Sorry, I <laughs> shaking paint bottles. Apparently, this is paint for chalk. Oh my gosh! What in the world is that? Huh, is it for chalk or something? Oh, never mind. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna put that to the side. Okay, here we go. We oh, don't want too much. It's very dark color. Okay, using the toothpick to mix is kind of fun. But yeah. Oh boy. Got paint already on my fingers. Gonna find something. Okay. Going to dab paint. There we go. Hopefully that will brighten things up. And I'll be back once it's fully mixed. Okay, so it is somewhat mixed. Looks much better than before. I think I need to add a little more white to brighten it up from the last color. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, here we go. And here we are with a little finished paint. I will have to look off screen to see what I will have to do for the paint placement. Okay, so I have just looked at the little thing off screen. Now I am going to just put the colors in. I'm going to try to make sure I do not go over the lines because otherwise I will not be able to see the lines. I need to see where I need to put the... <laughs> Okay, trying to get as much as I can in each little crevice. Yay! Got one down. Trying to be careful as possible. Oh, by the way, folks, happy September. It is beautiful. I am almost sure. I'm a little bit cooped up inside all the time, so I do not know what it looks like outside. But I hope it is beautiful and not too chilly. 
Oh, this looks very good. Ah! Put a little bit on the line. Does not look bad so far. I will be right back. And then, hello everyone. And I finished. I'll now be doing the perm the outside. Say bye bye to this color. Here we go. I'll be using this acrylic paint. Ugh, okay. There. Only a little drop will work. Okay, okay. Okay, now I wish I had a much bigger chunk. Okay, I'll be right back. This is very difficult to do on camera. Okay, so I'm switching to a paintbrush. Sorry about the dog. Okay. So, trying to do this. I'm very sloppy right now. I'll probably clean it another time. Ooh, ooh, it looks pretty, pretty, pretty. And, 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 oh, oh, it is beautiful. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, oh. And it is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Oh, you gotta have a. Good steady hand. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of some touch ups. And we are back! I will clean the brush for the next border, for the next little picture. But the next picture will probably be the airbender one in the few moments. But I will give you a close enough look to look at what we have done so far. On the water bending side once it is all dry I will do some more touches touch ups later off camera or not on the, during a video and then afterwards once I'm done with the airbender and the waterbender elements I will be doing the earth and fire I know I agree I said earlier I'll be doing the water and fire first because they were kind of the more difficult ones but I decided just one one side, then one side. Might be a little easier that way for me. And ooh, plus it looks very nice right now. Doesn't that look shiny? It'll dry up soon. But yeah, that is the water bender side. Off camera, I said earlier that I will be doing some touch ups later, and I will. But for now, I will be doing. Okay, everyone, we are back Ooh, with the air. I'll be using a toothpick once again to do some mixing. Now we go. Okay, Doki, I have my color. Now I just need to follow the template that I gave myself. Okay, Doki. Sorry if I'm quiet. I tend to be quiet when I get focused. Oh, this is very difficult. That looks correct. Although I am working with the angle. <laughs> My goodness, 
I did terrible. A terrible job on that one. No, it works. You think? I think I'm going to still. Yep. That looks decent. Whew. Very difficult. Then. Then Ooh. so close. I'm doing it. Ah, <laughs> okay. The airbender symbol is much more difficult than you think. You have to do swells. You gotta know where to put them. You gotta know what, you gotta remember a lot of details. I'm going to just touch some areas up. And just going to Make a little bit more of a tail. So, voila! Okay, everyone, it is now time for the cold. It doesn't feel like there's much cold left in this, so better use this wildly. Oh, good, I still have some left. I checked my paint reserves. And here we go. Once this is all dry, I will put Mod Podge or some kind of paint sealant to seal the paint in so then it does not get ruined by anything. And oh, this is nice. It looks a little wonky, but it still looks like the airbender symbol, if you think hard enough. Um, oh no, you can't even see what I'm doing, I'm so sorry. And... The... Maybe I should have done the gold on the inside and the bright color on the outside. Hmm. I think I will probably... Oh, never mind. I will do something interesting while the paint is still wet. I will add gold. Here we go. Voila. I have gold, beautiful gold swellies. I think that would is what I should call them. I don't know. But... Sorry, that was me rubbing my paintbrush against the paper to fix it. Okay, this is done. And that is done. I hope you enjoyed watching the video like comment and subscribe it's a notification bell once you want when you want to be notified about another video and thank you for watching this video of the water nation and the air nation being painted on, on the dvd case and thank you for watching i believe part two of the avatar makeover and if i got that wrong then I do not know what part this is. It's been a long time. But anyway, thank you for watching this part of the Avatar DVD case. Ugh, sorry.
sorry. I keep forgetting the title of this video. Thank you, watch. Thank you for watching this Avatar The Last Airbender DVD case makeover. And again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell once you want to be notified by another video. And again, thank you. And I will see you again. Bye-bye, guys.